Monique slams Oprah Winfrey for not standing up for justice, claims she makes her life harder. Her open letter, or in her open letter, like she likes to call it, this time is about Oprah Winfrey involvement in a Russell Simmons documentary. While she allegedly defends Harvey Weinstein, she accused Oprah of disparity in the way she treats people who were accused of sexual misconduct, claiming that the media mogul was going to be a part of documentaries about MJ and Russell's alleged sexual misconduct while she spoke up seemingly to defend Harvey. She ends her open letter by saying, please consider standing by the people who are right and not the right people. <clears throat> now that punchline is deep. Yeah. Stand by the people who are right and not the right people. True. We know what that means, right? The people who are right, yeah, not by the right mm -hmm. people. The right people. No, because yeah, the right people that you should people, uh, exactly you know, the network people that I help people. I think Monique said the right thing. I'm not even going to act like I don't have the same feelings about Oprah because okay. she's done a documentary about MJ. She did the documentary about MJ. She's uh, she, she, them a, she, she gave them a platform. Like yeah, yeah the, but yeah. she was yeah. part of it. Mm -hmm. She's um, doing the um, Russell Simmons stuff. Even MJ, and when people were saying yeah. this man is dead, he was acquitted. And you know that's the yeah. same thing. She, she still did gave not the platform. Yeah, she still gave it. You know that's the same respond. thing Russell <laughs> said that why? And it's not just Russell. I think Fifty Cent also said the same. Yeah, thing. I think Didi said the same thing that look, why are you trying to bring a black man down? Like you're always going after your own kind. Hmm. Like I don't know if it's if it's um, if she's been brainwashed and because not everybody that is black. Is actually black. Some people mm -hmm. actually have the white mentality. Oh my. Yeah, <laughs> that's the way I see it. So yeah. I don't know if that's what is going on with Oprah right now, but I think that um, justice for all. Hmm. If you if you say you want to use your platform to put out the truth out there, or you are feeling some type of way for the victims of this um, yeah. sexual, sexual abuse, let it be the same. Yeah, yeah, let it. Let you know, it, yeah. and, and so don't be thing. don't be do, um, doing the favoritism. Thing, saying that okay because this person is I'll probably I probably will gain more from this person and I have nothing to gain like it doesn't make any sense so Monique said the right thing yeah um, I another thing I just them. want to add or chip in there is that the thing the reason why Oprah might not really okay the reason why they're accusing her of being anti-black because a lot of people accuse her of being anti-black that she's always um, trying to paint like whenever a black man is accused of something evil mm -hmm. she's always like giving people a platform mm -hmm. to talk about it and all that but when it comes to maybe like white people that do the same thing she never ever says anything mm -hmm. and she has been questioned about Avi Winston in particular because they were friends mm -hmm. they were yeah, close friends yes they were close friends in the industry and her comments was that it should not be about having one step. Mm -hmm. But when it was Michael Jackson, because I followed be the Michael mm -hmm. Jackson documentary yeah. case closely. When it was Michael Jackson, she wrote on her Instagram, I will not forget, she wrote on her Instagram page, it's time for Michael Jackson to be down. or be something wow. along that lines, like something like the end of his legacy, that kind mm -hmm. of stuff. So a lot of people were already feeling, getting that kind of vibe that why is it that it is only when black men are being accused of these things? That's when you find a voice to speak up. Mm. Avin Winston's um, victims are not only white people. They were also black. They would have been black victims too. So I don't understand why she's just focusing on the black men who have been accused of all the sexual misconduct and ignoring the more prevalent, more powerful white men. I think the understanding, the understanding the lies in the way she ended that um, mm -hmm. open letter, which yeah. is um, stand by the right, um, the person who is right and not the right people. Not how the she right put people. that again? So yes. I think that really sums it up. And I don't know what her, what she aims to achieve, but I mean, Oprah is. She's a strong force on her own. Yeah. And, you know, there are people that could be tied to certain people because they feel like they gave them the opportunity. Yeah, they saw true. them when nobody was seeing them. Mm -hmm. They saw them in the way they wanted to Bias. be seen, right? Yeah. And I understand that, but she should understand that she has grown. And everybody that comes into your life played a role, or they have a role to play. And even if they were not available to play that role, somebody else would have played that role. And it's about the talent that you are as Oprah Winfrey, not because they gave you. If you did have that platform, or sorry, if you did have the talent and they give you the platform, you probably yeah, not still become yeah, Oprah, you know? Become so I think she needs to come in to understand that she is a strong force and she doesn't really need to, okay, the word I want to use is not nice for TV, but she doesn't need to I suck up. <laughs> She doesn't need to come to anyone <laughs> just to see. I mean, she's already big. I think yeah. she also has a skeleton, skeleton in her cupboard. Which and she doesn't want them to off. dig out. If yes. not, then I think she should well, rethink. Yeah. And Tyler Perry was also dragged into this. Um, yes, because they had an issue. Um, Oprah, 
Monique and Tara Perry. This was a long time ago, mm -hmm. 2009, the Precious yeah. uh, movie, where she said that. But the thing is that she, Monique also said that they admitted to her mm -hmm. that they, that she was right in this situation. Mm -hmm. But no, she's, uh, she's always said she wanted a public apology. Yeah, a public apology. But the public apology is what they have not done. Yeah. Because they black, because of the incident, she became mm -hmm. blackballed in the mm -hmm. industry, and then we, we all know how like what happened in Monique's mm -hmm. career and all of that. So because of that, she has been asking for it, and pub, um, Oprah has not given her a public apology. And there was something else that Oprah did to her, apart from the Tyler Perry precious is, um, incident, and where she yeah, when she also. brought her brother. Mm -hmm. So because of that, also she that also is why apology. you know she still wants that apology. Okay, I mean. well, but I don't think this is about the apology. I think mm, she's yeah. just going off the back of what is actually going what on. What is right happening now, currently? With Russell Siemens and all of that. So mm -hmm. I think that's actually what's going on right now. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we'll keep watching and see how Oprah will react to this one. Thank you.